Welcome back, anyone and everyone, to another Casual Coonsy Craft Series episode. Before we get into what we're going to accomplish today, guys, let's go over what we did in episode 5. And I will go into a little bit more in-depth detail of what I did not like and what I did like from episode 5. And we'll kind of discuss the direction of the future of this YouTube channel. Anyhow, some of the goals that we accomplished, well... We accomplished all of our goals for episode 5, so let's start off with what we did. We got our two villagers that we are using for breeding, uh, quote unquote, perma moved, permanently moved to a new location uh, so that we don't ever mess with any other villages. Uh, we put them underneath the ocean, right? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Goal number two was to breed more villagers, and breed more villagers we did, as you can see in episode 5. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go back and watch it. Goal number three was to expand and tidy up our villager trading hall area. And why this is important, you may ask? Well, Bedrock Edition has a really cool feature uh, with zombie spawners that they can spawn in zombie villagers. And that's how, that's exactly how we got our first two villagers, right? Uh, so we're trying to maximize the distance and blocks away um, from that zombie killing station area to get the discounts by killing a zombie villager um, and we really just want to maximize and uh, maximize our efforts there to get the most out of what we can uh, and last but not least but easily the most important farm and goal that we accomplished uh, during episode 5 was to get an iron farm up and running um, guys as you'll see in this in this video we use a lot of iron um, so that, that certainly did come in clutch. <clears throat> so hey guys, you might be wondering and asking yourself, uh, well, Kunzi Craft, why, why do you have all of your stream stuff up on the screen? Uh, guys, I'll get into it a little bit later, but I, I'm falling behind that one video per week schedule uh, posted to YouTube that I set for myself. And uh, I'll elaborate on that in a little bit. But I'm falling behind, guys. I'm falling behind, so I have to... I have to stream and get recordings for this series um, while streaming because yeah, that that's dedicated time for me, myself, and I, and my stream, uh, you know, worked out schedule with my wife. So God bless her for that and thank her for that. Um, so I, I have to maximize my time as best as possible. So yep, uh, we're doing it while we're on stream. Um, and guys, if you're wondering about my other social medias, you will find links down in the description to my. My uh, Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, my Instagram, and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, here in a few seconds, we're going to take a break and run a little 30-something, 30 31-second ad for Dubby. And I hope you enjoy that. And when we come back, I'll elaborate on that, Dubby. Let's give a bit. thanks to Dubby Energy at www.dubby.gg. Right? This stuff helps keep me focused and energized without the crash or the jitters during my long gaming sessions, my long streaming and editing sessions. So guys, if you want, you can come here and get 10% off with code Kunzi. As we'll see here in a second, you got your thing, add it to the cart, check out, and here you go. Code Kunzi gives you 10% off of all of your orders. So yeah, guys, uh, this clip here is just uh, an oopsies uh, close call that we had, um, and I just thought it would be funny to add this in there and my silly self just walked off the back of that block but yeah guys um i've never met a w energy flavor that i do not like and uh i i don't get any jitters or crash after drinking w um and it's delicious again it's delicious it's all natural um and it gets the job done on those late nights where i can't fall asleep and the wife is asleep and i wake up and i come down here to either film some gaming sessions or to edit some gaming sessions and all of that stuff. So guys, yeah, give it a give it a check out. Uh, give it a chance, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll find something you like there. And if you don't, I apologize for that. So guys, for this um, episode six, what are we working on? Uh, well, we're working on a bone meal, uh, bone slash fish farm, and we need magma cubes for all of that. Um, so I don't. I don't believe I have any magma blocks with me. I keep calling them magma cubes, so uh, please forgive me. So yeah, guys, in Bedrock Edition, if you kill a, a salmon or a cod with like a sword or it suffocates because it's out of water or it's killed by magma blocks, um, it will drop its, you know, 
raw cod or raw salmon and then there's a 25 percent chance that it drops um, a bone um, in bedrock edition why is that important because you can turn one bone into three bone meal that's not the case in java java they drop bone meal just one bone meal um, but guys, I just added this little weird scene in here because if you crouch over magma blocks, in case you didn't know, if you are crouched, you won't take any damage. Um, as soon as you stand up, yeah, you definitely take damage. Or to prevent taking any damage from magma blocks, you can just uh, enchant your boots with Frostwalker. And you should not take any damage while walking on magma blocks. Uh, so guys, here we are back here. Uh, we needed 9.76 stacks of magma blocks. And um, as you can see in my inventory here, we have 11, uh, so that's good news. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm going to elaborate on what I mentioned earlier about the one episode a week. Um, episode 5, I think, was pretty good. I, I think for 32 minutes, we fit a lot of information into it, and I think it turned out all right. Could it have been better? abso friggin -lutely. Could it have been any worse? Absolutely. Uh, but I felt like trying to stick with the one video per week uh, timeline that I had for myself, uh, it really pinched me into a corner and I had to record and play so many hours of the game that I, I didn't leave. I, I left a whole lot of stuff out that I wanted to include and then I had to rush a bunch of small clips in there and uh, that wasn't the quality of a video that I'm going for. Um, moving forward, um, you know, given the fact that I do work full time, um, I am a husband, I do have a house that needs things done like the lawn mowed and all these other chores that need to be done around the house. Um, and I'm about to be a dad at the end of May. I'm expecting my first child with my wife. Um, I don't know if I'm be able to stick to that one episode a week, you guys. And I apologize for that. But my number one goal here is to the number one goal is to provide great videos. Um, and I feel like I'm starting to find my stride here and my swing and my groove, uh, whatever you want to call it. I think the episode six, I really got into a good editing groove. Um, I really got into a good uh, gameplay groove. And I think we're finding it. I think we're finding that that stride, so to speak. And I, and I hope that's the case. And I hope we accomplish goal number one. Uh, for the series of just providing really good content, right? So with that in mind, um, I know YouTube's algorithms, you need to be posting pretty consistently. So I will do my best to keep a video posted once every two weeks. At the very bare minimum, if I can do one video a week, I will. If I can't, I will strive to do every two weeks and at the very least three weeks, right? Um, but yeah, guys, we're going in here and uh, we kind of explain a lot of this stuff that we're watching right now a little bit later. And I'm looking down at my notes and all of that cool stuff. Um, but right now we're working on our our third collection system. Um, I ran through so many ideas with this uh, collection system. And I had to scratch the ideas because they just didn't work well for me or they weren't efficient enough for me. Um, now, guys, I'm not a pro. Uh, I'm not a pro Minecraft player. Um, so I do watch a lot of other uh, YouTubers that make a lot of Minecraft content. And I kind of go off of their work and then I try to make up my own. Um, and, and this kind of goes off of Prowl 8413's design. Um, he had a completely different setup. Um, but I got the idea from him to build a fish slash bone meal farm. Correction, bone farm. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to explain this as we move forward. Uh, there was a lot of loss with just one minecart with hopper running back and forth with one long strand of, you know, hoppers for it to unload in. Uh, so then I tried two, two minecart with hoppers. Uh, that didn't work very well. Because um, I think once I left the chunks, they one would catch up with the other and they're basically riding each other's butts the whole time. So they weren't covering any more space, um, if that makes any sense, because they're right next to each other. So I scratched that idea. And then I came up with, the, well, since this box is 25 by 25 blocks, let's do sections of five, right? 
uh, we'll do five mine carts with hoppers and they will each cover five rows or five you know five blocks of five rows of blocks and I think I really like this and I AFK'd it for about 90 minutes maybe two hours um, once this was done and the rates were absolutely ridiculous I I I did not anticipate the rates being that good uh, way better than I expected I don't have those numbers for you guys but you can see um, towards the end of this video when we get there um, I do show that and it does look pr pretty solid um, so moving forward here guys just kind of explaining my thought process with this um, the third slash middle row of these five compartments have a string of 11 hoppers right and we're playing around with stuff here um, five on one side five on the other and then the 11th one is in the middle and that middle one is you know it, it takes it back to the sorting system which is my first ever sorting system by the way um, and if you're wondering why I'm placing redstone and powered hoppers where they are I end up going back and removing these powered hopper or powered rails right now uh, they, they weren't actually powered up but you cannot have a redstone block touching any of the four sides of the hopper directly above the hopper so touching the hopper still or directly below the hopper still touching the hopper it will lock that hopper so i had to adjust where i put some of the redstone blocks and that's okay and because i'm using powered or sorry normal rail power rail normal rail uh for my bins i could not put the power rails at the very end um for the turns because they just wouldn't connect because they're at the turn right which that makes sense so here we go. We are at the very end of the first section. Now I want this just to cover five rows and then I want it to bounce back. So here we go. We got our bounce back spot. If you want it to actually keep moving, you need a solid block there. If I would have left that glass there, even with the powered rail there, it wouldn't have moved. It would just hit that powered rail and it would stop because for some reason the glass would not send it back. Um, I don't know the mechanics of it, but it is what it is just so you guys know um, and after this little section we're building our dock around uh, the farm <laughs> and uh, but we'll go over the sorting system and I'll leave a link to prowl 8413's video where I got the sorting system from item sorting system that is um, but here is me wasting a bunch of time guys I wasted a ton of time with this build just because I just didn't do it smartly or intelligently and if you saw that little pop-up on the screen um, a1 since day one uh, drunk turtle 69 420 um, yeah he, guys he's been with me I don't know him or her personally in person never met them but they've been in my stream since day one but they redeemed a creeper explosion and it startled me and I fell into my farm um, that was pretty that was pretty funny but yeah, guys, um, as you can see, this was before the change that we just saw, and uh, it was glass block behind there. But yeah, this uh, little scene right here uh, started before I made that final, final sorting system and collection system, sorry, collection system that you saw in the last couple clips. Um, so yeah, guys, here we go, wasting more time. I should have just built a big square dirt box thing and then added everything in after that so I wasted a lot of time doing this but it was all on stream so it was all time well wasted if you ask me um, which my opinion doesn't really matter at the end of the day so I think your guys' opinion matters way more um, in, in my mind at least so guys uh, as we come up here um, and we're, we're kind of getting towards the tail end of this episode so to speak i i believe um i just i just want to say thank you guys um i i can't i can't say thank you enough um for your continued support and um i i would love to hear some feedback guys um i i, I do want the channel to grow i do want my community to go and like i mentioned before my number one my number one concern and goal is quality over quantity. Um, 
but if I don't know what you guys are looking for, if I'm not getting any feedback, I don't know what to improve. Um, I don't know how to reach you guys and I don't know how to get people coming back or new people to come in and, and getting new people to stay. Um, so please leave likes, uh, leave a subscribe. Um, next episode, we'll get into our sea of subscribers, um, little shindig, right? Uh, that'll be fun. Um, and leave comments too as well down in, in the comments section and I will do my best to read and reply to all of them um, But guys here we go. This is the finished product. Um, I didn't show any of the crane build um, <laughs> But yeah, we got we built a little crane on top of it And this is the final walkthrough of it these these levers don't do anything I just thought they were cool and, and the cranes not finished. It was just something I was doing um, and if you see that big atrocious iron bar box at the top, yeah, um, my buddy Barber, shout out to Bruce Barber 89 said, hey, you should make those cobwebs. He's right. I should. It would look more like a net like I'm hoping for, but I don't have any source of cobwebs right now. So that change and adjustment will come in the future because it's Minecraft and nothing is ever truly done in Minecraft. So guys, yeah, I'm just kind of walking through like what I've accomplished. I went with trapdoors as the top deck floor. Um, just to change it up a bit and to provide air down here to these lower levels, so to speak, where you can see the minecarts with hoppers in action. Um, and soon we're about to see uh, just how just how efficient this thing is from 90 minutes to two hours. I, I, I can't remember how long I was AFK for. And I'm sorry, I forgot to start a timer. But this thing, that's the central point where everything comes in. Uh, we need to decorate a little better to hide some of these things. But yeah, um, that's the sorting system. And I don't know why I'm clearing this out. This is a copy of the world. Um, so I could fly around and, and do some cool stuff, right? Um, but yeah, guys, look at all these bones. <laughs> that's certainly going to uh, just multiply that by three. That's how many bone meal you're going to get. And all these raw salmon, raw cod. Um, and eventually once I get a fuel source, uh, if you come down here, um, I'm going to have, yeah, every single one of those double chests, once they're full, we'll be able to cook cod and cook salmon. Basically, I'm, I'm always going to have food and hopefully I'm always going to have bones too, um, because that's going to be important. But yeah, guys, uh, that's where we're at so far. Um, episode six was really fun and it was a great time spent on stream with everybody. And I can't thank you guys all enough for being there. Um, and thank you for watching YouTube. Um, I know I got a lot of people that hang out on streams and then hang out on YouTube as well. And, uh, yeah, guys, you guys make it all worth it. You guys make it all possible. So, um, thank you guys again. And like I said earlier, next episode is the sea of subscribers. So thank you guys and, uh, see you next time. Peace.